Um, Monsieur Trichet, when you look at central banks, it seems that also the ECB was actually pretty dovish because we don't have a an end date for a lot of this QE program. At what point does being too dovish hurt more than it does good? Well, f first of all, I think that uh, the uh, policy of the central bank uh, of the ECB has been uh, successful, obviously, when you look at uh, a large number of criteria, of course, the real economy, which is surprisingly robust and will continue very likely to be uh, very robust. We have also the uh, overall, I would say, uh, anticipation of next uh, moves as regards inflation, which are not that bad when I look at the five years, five years forward, even if it is not fully in line with the definition, but we are much closer. The danger of deflation is totally over. And it seems to me that all indicators that the governing council had were really justifying fully the fact that they start tapering next year. Uh, it's not, uh, uh, I would say, a decision which should be considered as dovish, obviously, when you start tapering. Mm -hmm. It's not a dovish decision. We will see what happens. And uh, the fact that uh, they will look at it, uh, you know, and look at data over time, including uh, at the end of the nine month period, we will see. I mean, they will take then the decision which is the most appropriate. But I would say until now, that decision is fully justified.